Hello, my name is Dr. Shambles and this is the second video of the day. This is because I forgot to upload the other matches on my editing software. I don't know man, uh, I was editing it yesterday and I forgot matchups. So this is just going to be two matches, one against Zoro and Sanji, the other one against Nami. Zoro and Sanji, to be honest, was all up for it. I will got, I got such a wave of joy when I saw it because it was a different leader. And I really didn't even remember how he worked. But yeah, it was really cool. Um, and then Nami, why not? You know, we are we're gonna have Nami players till the end of time, I guess. So might as well just uh, show you guys the matchup. Maybe some people uh, still have maybe some struggle with that matchup. Although we do counter very easily. And again, 7k swings are the magic number. So yeah, just saying that. This is my decklist. You guys can copy the decklist and put it in the scene yourselves, it's in the description. It's the same as the last video, it didn't change obviously. So for the new people that didn't see the last video, I'm just gonna explain some of the weaknesses of this decklist. I don't have the bond clays, uh, but I do need to practice OPO7, so I am playing against people uh, in OPO8 using a decklist of OPO7 and a nerfed one at that. The weakness of this deck is you can in fact use a strength of law of OPO7, which is you can play on both curves, uh, going first or going second, but you are you have a very very high chance of breaking your hand because you, if you go first or second, Zorjor is always a card that you need to go, uh, you need to get. And when you go second, you need to get time. And you know these are very specific cards, and from time to time you just won't see them. I, if I wanted to go a uh, more go first at least, I would need to have the bond place as well. I don't. If I want to have the most optimal, so to speak, uh, deck list where you can just use both curves, I still need bond clay. So yeah, we don't have it. That's the weakness of the deck is we have a very high chance to uh, brick on the starting hand. And uh, but if we don't, uh, again, if we we just need to see one of these, especially Zoro Zoro Zoro. Uh, if I see Zoro Zoro. Going first or second, it's fine. I can use him. I can deal with that and then the rest, we'll see. Obviously, we still need to balance out the rest of the cards in starting hand, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the gameplay. See you there. Okay. First match is so the Ronoro Zoro and Sanji. He did choose to go first to get the first swing. That's okay. We didn't see the iron, but we did see Zoro Zoro, as you guys can see there. We're just going to take to make sure Zoro has the... Um, his leader... Uh, his leader, what? His ability. He plays this Uzop. This is a Searcher Uzop, by the way. Uh, and he's a 3k... Um, a 3k power, so he can attach to Don and Swing. We'll see what he does with that. I'm not gonna bottom deck it for now. I have Sashin Penguin and Beppo, but to be honest, I don't think it's worth going down to one Dawn and then regen two, going to three. I think it's just best for me to 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 save some Dawn, make bigger swings next turn, play something else, and then we can bottom deck. He makes a 5k swing. I'm just gonna take, I don't think it's worth uh, dealing with him. <laughs> and he plays another Searcher, Uzop. So, okay, let's get uh, the Zalu with Zorger. Let's just swing here. He's going to let it go. He's at four ha in hand. And, um, and you know, it's, he needs a 2k counter to save it. So, there's absolutely no reason. But nope, he does save it and plays Sanji. Okay. I am gonna. I am at two life, so I'm just gonna make sure to take absolutely every single uh, one of the um, every single one of the um, of the f Jesus of his uh, pressure. So yeah, we play Shashin Penguin now. We had five dawn, so next turn we had seven dawn, which is nice, and we just built a bunch of board. If he makes another 5k swing with that Uzop, we can just protect it now. We have the Queen. We are in a nice place in just one turn. We just turn it around. 
I think he pretty much, he almost threw the game entirely by by using that event and protecting that search rules up. We're gonna stop that. I kinda wanna, wanted to bait his 5k swing again. So that this Zoro Juru can just uh, get a lower value. He makes a 6k swing. I am going to counter it. It's fine, we have Reiju. He plays the blocker. It's okay. I'm gonna see what he does. I'm gonna do another 4k swing onto the leader. There you go. Again, he should let this go. He does not. Yeah. So I'm just gonna play this over the... Over the other Zorjuro, we still have one. So yeah. And we just equalize the lives and we equalize the cards in hand. But we have a lot of boards, so right now we are in control. Again, he can do the same thing, but I don't know why he keeps protecting that searcher Zoro. He does the same thing. Wow, I actually don't remember. He actually does the same thing. <laughs> Jesus, what why the hell are you doing this man? He can attack Sunshine Penguin. And let it... Oh, he makes a 7k swing. Okay, that is completely fine. I'm trying to bait attacks onto my board. That's why I keep blocking and countering. So he's like, okay, let me take care of that queen. And queen just gets the value of blocking two attacks. But he's just not doing that and I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna have to counter that because it has a 7k swing now. And if he swings onto lives, so we're gonna have to take it. Yep, he did make the 7k swing onto my life. He plays the Rosinante. So once again, we just gotta swing again. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Just nope. He actually counters with two cards. I'm just gonna make a 5k swing, try to bait out that um, that block. I can't play this slower because he just is discarding a bunch of cards in hand. 6k. Again, I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm not thinking about finishing this turn. I am thinking, in fact, setting up to finish this turn. Okay, that's the 7k. Now he blocked. Let's see what he does here. He takes. I just make another 7k swing because we, he can, we can now finish game. We had the kid and killer. We could just leader effect and uh, attach every single one and win. Okay, so next match was Nami. On the other match, I think he shouldn't have protected that, that searcher so long, man. I don't think he will. If he was the, the other Sanji that I bottom deck right away when he played, fine. But that search of the Usopp was. I think it was a misplay. We play against Nami now. We are going first. He did choose to go second. Uh, we just make an AK swing. We could play that Shiraya, but it's fine. Don't really care. I think making that first uh, pressure with the 8k swing is better because it makes her discard more cards in hand. She can discard cards from top deck all she wants. I don't really care. Here I make a misplay. Uh, I forget that Zoro Zoro needs to be at 3 lives to get his value. He can still be a body to swing with, yes. And obviously, I, 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 yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I realize this because I, I know she's not going to attack my lives. So, yeah. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to... <laughs> Use him as a body. But yeah, we played more games uh, after and I didn't do this. It's just I'm so used to having to have Zoro Juro as soon as possible to try and get value out of him. So, yeah. So this we're going to play a bit slower. We're just going to make smaller swings. Just this turn. It would be really good. Oh, oh I'm going to play Shirai, I guess. Okay. And we're playing Ayn. It's fine, we're at Fordon. 
We have at least four swings next turn. She's seeing a lot of Sanji spill off. God damn. She has four done, so we have a lot of swings. I think, yeah, which <laughs> we're actually gonna protect it. Who cares? He's an extra 5k swing, I guess. And now something here is going to happen. She's going to use that event, I believe. That puts her at, yeah, that puts her at 6k. And so my Zorjuro can't really, yeah, here. I, I realized that. <laughs> oh, wait. So I'm just gonna make another 6k swing, I guess. She does take it anyway. It's fine. We're just gonna play it over Zorjuro. We we can't have Zorjuro anymore. He's a liability now. We're gonna counter. I am like, where is my rages and, and stuff? You know? I would like to see Raju, I would like to see a queen. I also played that Gordon by the way onto the field. Uh, that's another misplay. Again, I'm so used to to autopilot. Yeah, there you go. We do get some some of the um, some of the draw power, um, but we, we again this is going to be another of those turns that we we just can't. Um, we need to make smaller swings, but at least now all of our bodies can swing. Sorry, Jesus, my voice. <coughs> there you go. I'm gonna make a 7k swing now. And I'm gonna make an extra 5k swing. By the way, we made a lot of uh, duels after this. He told me that he wanted to practice. It's fine. Again, this matchup is really hard for him, and I, I was playing Opio 7, in Opio 8 this deck, it's even worse. <laughs> so, like, in Opio 8 we can just rush it down so easily. We pretty much don't lose Dawn, so yeah. So, like, she can have all her... the Dawns that she wants, she doesn't have that much uh, cards in hand, so it doesn't really matter how much Dawn she has up. She can take a body of mine, that's fine. I'm just gonna play... Yeah, I'm just gonna make swings now. I thought I was... I was thinking about Zorjo, but I realized, yeah, uh, it, it doesn't matter, you know. Might as well just save him as a 1k. We're gonna make a 5 now. And I think... Yeah, we're gonna make a 6 and then two sevens. There you go, and we're gonna make another. I am looking for my Kid and Killer. Kid and Killer would be really nice here. Oh damn, I actually do play Zorjuro. I guess I'm just putting cards onto her... Um, onto her... deck so she cannot finish game. Will I show how much, how many cards she has? Seven. Trust me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, she has two blockers, those blockers are nice. She saw another Sanji. We need to let this go. I'm gonna make a 5k swing. You need to block my girl. She takes. I'm like, fine. I'm just gonna do another 5k, no. Yeah, I'm thinking about just bottom decking. Um, there you go. And now I'm just gonna lose one Dawn. We make another 5k swing. And then we're gonna make it 7. And that's it. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. As you can see, he was ready for a rematch right there at the end. I did play a lot of games. I think we played like 7. None of them were even close, <laughs> but it is what it is, it's okay, I mean, it's just a tough matchup for Nami. Uh, I just decided to put it here just to show people 
uh, a little bit because I did do misplace, so uh, don't place your Juro, don't play your power depletion cards, they're just Dawn that you can use to make bigger swings. And yeah, we pretty much uh, just need to see the Queen's uh, Rages and Kitten Killers should come up as well. Uh, you, I don't know if you guys noticed, but at the end, all my lives were with Queens and Rages and the Kid Blocker. Kid Blocker is really nice into this matchup as well. But yeah, that was the video. I know it's the simple one. Uh, it's just to because I forgot to, to upload these matchups as well. And I think they're different. They're some. They're fun. So yeah. Once again, thank you so much if you stay till the end. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.